at the dawn of the great SUV age, just after the original Ford Explorer crawled out of the petroleum ooze and began to rule the roads, Land Rover brought its discovery stateside. It was perfectly suited to American tastes, packing a V8 engine and safari-ready styling, allowing it to telegraph sophistication while navigating the asphalt jungle. It was basically a Range Rover under the skin, with updated looks and a lower price point without sacrificing much off-road capability. For the next 23 years, the Discovery evolved into softer and softer forms, leading to the BMW i5 Discovery 2, the LR3, and then the LR4 that directly preceded the 2017 Discovery. By trading off-road pretense for on-road civility, the LR4 sold better than ever. But rather than softening the LR4 up anymore, Land Rover hit the reset button. The 2017 Discovery starts over with its original name but a new philosophy, beginning with a solid foundation of on-road competency and adding back enough off-road capability to pass the laugh test. At least, that's the billing. To find out how it all works in the real world, I went to southern Utah in the middle of winter. Rain-shrouded mesas and snowy ponderosa pine forests were the backdrop for a broad survey of light off-roading tasks, like scrambling up solid but gently sloping rock faces and blasting through wet sand dunes. Perhaps more importantly, I did long highway stretches through vast open spaces of the southwest. It feels like a better road machine than its predecessors, partly because Land Rovers astutely perceived the ascendancy of the crossover and built a vehicle for that reality. Onboard Wi-Fi is in, the camel trophy is out. The result is a better discovery for nearly everyone, and the only casualty is the sentimental baggage attached to a storied name. Even the styling pays only the most trivial deference to its ancestor. The famous multi-window safari roof has evolved into a half-hearted little vestigial hump. The clamshell hood is a more successful adaptation of an original discovery design feature spilling down into generously flared fenders and a couple of lovely steps. On the rear hatch, there's a familiar asymmetrical license plate relief and sexy, slim taillights. They do a bit to relieve the eye of the tucked-in hindquarters, which tumble inward from the rear wheels. Surely this is to pull the sheet metal as tightly and economically around the structure as possible for better aero, but it makes the discovery look pinched in the...